Hey, we're going to look today at the um, how to use the calendar feature in our in our platform. Okay, so we've got two different ways that you can use it. Uh, one is the uh, uh, main calendar for everyone that's downloaded your app. If you click that uh, link right over here on the left side, hand side of your dashboard, you can see that. Uh, over here, you can create an event. Let's say this is uh, you know, you know, whatever uh, test event. Uh, you can put uh, whatever you like in here. You got your date selected. It's the seventeenth. You can start uh, have a start time and an end time. Let's say to that time and hit submit. Now, if you go back to your calendar, you'll see this date has been set up right here. Uh, we can go on in this into this date and uh, edit this again. Um, so this is the date you created in your calendar for everyone that's downloaded your app. Uh, you can set up notifications for for people that've got the app. You can say you know, don't forget to attend. Um, you can send by push notification, email, and a text message, and you can also include the uh, the uh, placeholders for like date, time. You can copy copy this, and uh, um, that date and that time, start time and end time. Uh, just tell the system when you want this notification to go out. So let's set it up for a week before. Hit the add button, and there you go. You've got a set a notification set up for one week um, uh, prior to the event happening. Everyone that's got your app downloaded will receive a push notification, email, and a text message saying, don't forget to attend on this date. Okay, so that's how you set up an event for everyone. We also have individual calendars for individual people in uh, in your uh, list. So let's say you've got over here this demo uh, person over here. We click on that icon right there in the profile, and you'll see this is a calendar for exclusively this person. Okay, you can see uh, when you look at the calendar here, you can see this event that's showing up on their calendar because this is the event we just created. That's a test event for everybody. Okay, but if you've got um, this, can be used for doctors, dentists, bail bonds, uh, lawyers, anyone that needs to create specific appointments for their their clientele, and uh, and remind them of that. So let's create one here for some for just this person, and we'll create it on this date, the twenty fourth. Again, we're just going to call it, let's say, uh, trial. Uh, again, I'm just putting short messages in here for the purpose of this video. Court date, the date is selected. You can also change the date if you need to, but let's go there. And again, you can have a, a start time and an end time there and hit submit. Now you've created this event. So once the event's created, you can also create notifications for this specific person. Again, the same way push email, text. Uh, don't be late for your trial on let's let's put this all in here right now so you can see how easy this is to do copy this at tip at let's, let's go starting at and hit the start time copy and paste the start time copy paste the start time so we've created this notification Let's say I also want this to go out uh, a week prior. Hit update. Now we've created this this notification for a week before the court date. You can copy and paste this exact same thing and, ha and have it go into the uh, you know create multiple notifications for your your clientele and set that up. And I also want to notify them, for example, a day before. Right? Hit update, and now we've created two notifications. You can see one going out a week before and one's going out a day before. So that's how you would use the uh, the individual. Uh, calendars for your uh, clients. If you would go back into the list here and go back on this client, you can see the individual dates or um, individual uh, dates you set up and the events you set up are showing in blue, and then the ones for the everyone in the system showing up in green. That's exactly how you use our calendar. Hope that uh, was easy enough to understand. Thank you.